Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna give a quick uh, review breakdown of The Penguin, issue number nine. This is basically a series that is running. It's about The Penguin. And um, yeah, this is issue number nine. Um, what can I say about this issue, man? It's more of uh, Tom King's uh, depressive writing um it is um it's really something to behold man to read this guy's stories um so yeah the the art on the book is pretty decent i like the art i think the artist is doing a fine job uh mr de la torre he's doing very well the color is marcelo as well Maidro. I'm sorry, I, I mispronounced that name. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, um, the book, look, man, uh, let me just, this book, um, is there's one consistent thing throughout the book is, it is that every man in this story is depressed, It's a scumbag. It's a terrorist. And they are bitter as fuck. It's incredible to read such a book. And it, you just can't unsee it. Where Tom King, I guess that guy, he's, you know, when he wrote this, he was fucking depressed. <clears throat> and, and we got, you know, some guys that used to be major victory is one character who used to be like this very, uh, you know, um, sort of a soft copy of Captain America. I remember, and I'm guessing it's the same character. The character appeared in, in the Justice League uh, international books, were, which were, you know, very lighthearted humorous um from the keith giffen days and uh he's using this character it's one of those things that tom king um is obviously very school very well uh knowledgeable on the dc universe and his characters he knows them he obviously read about them at some point I'm guessing this guy at some point was a fan of the DC Universe. Um, but, you know, I, if I were to uh, throw a guess, um, you know, he's writing, you know, uh, characters of the DC Universe at a very low point in time in his life. Either he's depressed or he just fucking hates men or hates himself because he's a man and this book is just it's uh i'm not gonna say atrocious because there is a story going on though but every man and i'm telling you man every man every male character in this story there they are scumbags they are depressed they are cynical, they are assholes, they're terrorists. It's like reading, you know, um, depressive characters 101, yeah. including Batman. Batman is not acting like Batman. He's threatening, you know, at one point he takes a guy, and let me show you, um, he takes a guy and he puts them in the middle of polar bears in order to gain information from them. And it's not clear why these polar bears don't eat the guy. Batman says he threatens and he says, I'm gonna walk away if you don't give me the information. So last, I never 
last I heard, Batman was not animal man. He couldn't communicate with animals. He's not a polar bear trainer. He doesn't have the skills to communicate or prevent polar bears from acting like polar bears. So my question to Tom King is, what are you doing? You know, why are these, are these massive polar bears afraid of Batman and they are under his command and they don't attack this poor guy because Batman's there? Is that, is that his, is that what we're supposed to, to assume here? You know, it's, it's, uh, there's Tom Taylor. Look at that. The two Toms. These two guys are the cancer of DC Comics right now, man. I'm telling you, right now. Um, and the inner dialogue. Every fucking character has inner dialogue. Including this woman that curses right and left. And she's rude. And she's foul mouth, even in her thoughts. And... There's nothing likable about that character at all. There's not, I mean, Jesus, man, I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm being so harsh, but there's nothing likable about any character in this series so far, including Batman. How do you fuck Batman up? It's just, it's just appalling. It's, it's a, it is so surprising, man. So surprising. So this lady, uh, St. Cloud, Related to Silver St. Cloud from the classic days. Um, she's even mentioned. She's dating uh, the Penguin. And from her inner dialogue, she's disgusting with the Penguin. But she wants to get dirty. And um, so, you know, she goes to... She, she's fucking the Penguin. And then she alludes that the Penguin has a big dick. And the penguin's walking around. He's, you know, he's fucking this girl, but he's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's all very confusing. And, uh, and I guess the, 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 the main storyline is that the penguin's trying to get back his, his, uh, he's trying to become the big boss in Gotham City again. Because Gotham City was taken over by his siblings, you know, and, um, and yeah, and I do remember that storyline where, where, you know, he's, uh, the penguin was uh, apparently killed. And, um, but who knows, you know, these, these Batman writers, they never get together to have a cohesive continuity. Uh, one moment the Joker is declared the ruler of Gotham, another moment is the penguin, and in another page, supposedly, is Catwoman. And they're all fucking leaders and, and, you know, but the main thing of this, uh, there's the black spider there. Um, he's also bitter. He's also an asshole. And, and it's just, my God, bro. What a depressive, depressive, depressive read. Just wanted to get that through, man. The, the book, uh, Art Wise is good. There's not much action to speak of. Uh, Tom King just loves to hear himself talk because, you know, when the writer writes, he's talking, he's, he's making up those, the, the conversations, he's making up the dialogue for every character and every character in this story is a talkative asshole. There's nothing fun about this series at all. The penguin. He even took the penguin. Uh, the penguins. Because this is what Tom King does. He breaks characters down. And he takes whatever is interesting about them. For example. The penguin's umbrella. His hat. His demeanor. His, the way he speaks. His henchmen. All the fun stuff. That these characters have. Tom King. Rest assured. Will take it away and he will make them ordinary assholes whoever it is the joker the penguin the riddler catwoman 
the guy is just cancer for comic book characters and he's managing to to destroy batman as well man it's it's just uh it's just appalling to read so that's that's my breakdown of this book uh really nothing redeemable very boring story every character tucks their head off there's a very annoying foul mouth woman in it i don't give a fuck about her uh, the, the 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 woman that the penguin is sleeping with she's kind of the most interesting character at this point i don't know why she has yellow skin um yeah and, and, and that's you know that's about it but there's nothing fun about this book it's just and the bad guys are boring the bad guys all they do is just walk in to i guess free uh open buildings free of security or i guess just tom king does it's not doesn't even bother to get into those details when criminals break into buildings and they gotta go through security and do the dirty deeds that they're doing this these characters are just walking into buildings setting bombs and you just see them walk away while you see the explosion in the background like in the movies very boring shit so that's it that's my breakdown of the penguin issue number nine um uh, i just got it i just got out of the store and uh since i had it fresh in my mind i wanted to do a quick breakdown and review of it um from a scale from one to ten i'll give this book because the art is kind of decent i'll give the book a six from a scale from one, one to ten thank you guys for listening to me sorry for being so harsh it's tom king he really sucks man he really sucks uh he's not as bad as tom taylor tom taylor is just fucking dreadful um at least tom king kind of knows about pacing he knows about keeping with the plot and trying to pay off at the end um let's see where this one goes but this as far as this issue is concerned is really really awful thanks guys give me likes dislikes please subscribe to my channel and uh you know give me some comments i love to interact with you guys